What are you doing, guys? It's Biggie Biggs here. I'm gonna do an unboxing of my uh, medical marijuana, fully legal in Ontario, Canada. Yeah, um, yeah. So I've just started this uh, channel. I'm gonna be doing reviews um, of strains. I'm going to be doing reviews of different vapes and stuff like that because I am new to the whole vape and shatter and that whole uh, rosin and all of that. So <clears throat> I have tried shatter um, just in the last month and I got to say I really like that. Uh, my friend bought a, a um, why do they make these packages so tough to get into man? Huh? Rip it. Just rip it open. Get in there. I don't need the bag after anyway, so it's probably double bag. Yeah, double bag. Like I thought. Get rid of that bag. Put that over there. So this is actually only 15 grams that I ordered. I ordered five grams of each different, uh, three different strains. Um, I know Warlock was the one strain. Um, that I've never tried. Uh, I only got renewed my license renewed um, recently, like uh, what, two weeks ago? It came finally, and uh, yeah, I was licensed under the old system. I was allowed eight grams a day, <clears throat> so a max of 240 grams, um, and it expired. That's a whole other story that I'll get into one day, but not for today. And then, um, you know, it expired in 2013, and then, so I went without because of a whole doctor situation. That I, that's another story. I'm going to get into that, Dr. Kanderman. Um, yeah, and uh, so then I went and seen him. He, he referred me to a, a clinic, but I believe there was a fee. I can't really remember, and plus I don't drive, so it's hard for me to get around now. Uh, i got to count on rides and people and public transportation and I'm not good with crowds and so that's a whole other thing too. We'll get into all that too, right? But today's just about unbagging this. Um, I'm going off topic here, rambling on, it's kind of what happens, but uh, you know, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. So we got the first one here is, oh, bubblegum. That's the one I totally forgot about. Bubblegum. Hopefully you can see that properly. Hand's probably a bit shaky. Bubble gum. Um, this is 13.7 THC.1 CBD. Bubble gum. OG Kush. This one I've already smoked uh, some, and uh, or vape some and smoke some, and uh, I really like the OG Kush. Yeah, from Can Trust. It's at uh, 15.4 THC and 0.2 CBD. So, you know, mid mid strain. I have a uh, max THC allowance, um, which I'm hoping, uh, and I, I've only got a three month license. So I've got to go back to the doctor every three months now, and uh, whereas before it was yearly. So I'm hoping that's all going to change with the new court stuff and all that that's happening. But and then that's a whole other that's a whole other show that one too. The whole court thing, what's going on? So we got Warlock is the last one. Uh, Warlock, and uh, yeah, this one is I haven't tried either. It is at 14.5 percent THC and 0.1 percent CBD. So. Um, I've already done the OG, so I'm going to save that restrain review for another day. And, uh, oh, that was my Shark Shock. That was my last order. Shark Shock. That was right at uh, near, near my max, 16% THC with a 0.2 CBD. But that wasn't in this package I just got. That was just here on my desk. Uh, this is the one I had out earlier. I take the container with me. I roll a joint or two and uh, papers and a lighter in there and I you know it's kind of neat I mean the lighter fits in perfect it's kind of big for five grams 
but uh, I'm sure they, they five or fifteen grams is your choice with the company I'm at. So uh, these are probably like fifteen gram containers. Just uh, you know, I just wanted to try some different strains. So now that I, I'll try them and then I'll order fifteen grams of one that I like next time. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the Shark Shock. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, I the bubble gum I fo totally forgot all about. I knew I had the Warlock coming, and uh, I knew I had the OG coming. And then they send me some paperwork. Oh, I didn't get this paperwork the last time. This is just the, uh, oh, it's a booklet. A whole little booklet uh, from Health Canada. Right. All the, uh, I'm sure, side effects and warnings and... Uh, yeah, what do we got? It's about interactions with this product, dosing information and routes of administration, um, uh, overdose, never heard of that, uh, side effects and what to do about them, that's just my invoice. There, I can show you, uh, see if there's anything on here that you guys shouldn't really see. Um, I'll just cover up my RX numbers and show you this. Uh, how much it was and all that and the HST yeah yeah that's right frickin tax on my weeds man what's up with that yo so there we go that's the pricing hopefully you can see that I'm uh, just using my cheap uh, camera here like my ch ch camera that's got video on it um, so I am gonna invest in a better camera because I'm going to take this channel very seriously. I've got a spot in my house that I'm making as a set. I'm going to show you guys that like before and mid and we'll be doing like shows about that as I go along helping you know so you're, you're getting me right from the beginning here guys like right from the beginning of this medical marijuana channel you are with me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's freaking cool. I think that's awesome. I'm hoping, uh, you know, I've been watching other YouTubers and, uh, yeah, you know, I've met some pretty, well, I haven't met them physically yet. I, I might meet one of them down at uh, 420. But, yeah, you know, I started watching Pug One and, uh, or One Pug Life and uh, OnePugLife.com for, uh, give him a little plug there. And then uh, Making making Clouds with Mudflap. Yeah, I like him. And there's, uh, you know, Bubble Man. And I've been watching his and, uh, there's like so many it's overwhelming like it's and it like most of all this new shatters and vapes and e-nails and like all this stuff is totally new to me I mean this is what I started with right here like this little gizmo here and uh, and and a gram of shatter and I was started up for under uh, just over a hundred bucks so I mean you can get into it cheap but I mean there's rigs and stuff that are 800 bucks and uh, I mean and then the only other one I've tried is the uh, my buddy he ordered it and I'm cleaning the other part right now because he wants it back go figure right like he he paid 300 and something bucks for it now he wants it back fuck's sakes you know what I mean like come on buddy <laughs> just joking but yeah so the Dabadoo bolt and it's got the piece on the end you can't it's like it's cleaning like I said uh, it's the card cap beating right so uh, yeah that is way better than this one I got my papers of oil there. Way better. <coughs> Getting a little anxious here. I got anxiety. So, deep press, deep press. Um, yeah, this one is, or this, the bolt is way better. So, as I go up, I think it gets more tastier and tastier and tastier, and you get more uh, precision heating, to which releases more flavors and uh, all that stuff. So, I mean, in the comments, by any means, I do want comments and pictures of rigs. Uh, what you're using tell me and like explain if you're into explaining stuff in depth that's what I like I like to see like pictures and like actually like have someone sit no you know take that off of there show me that it's magnetic you know what I mean unscrew it you know show me the battery right cuz whoa bang next thing you know boom I got this battery here that I didn't even realize that holy shit it goes into this one fits now I got two batteries like you know so I wouldn't have known that unless I had this in my hand and took it apart right so it's good for uh, you know a um, couple guys I've made, made comments in their their, their posts and uh, you know they started doing it for me and stuff which is bang on right I love that love that kind so uh, yeah man 
So let's get into this bubble gum. Enough of the chitty chat chat chat. Let's get into the bubble gum. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's the the I'm a retard. So here we go. See it's on 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 uh, thingy thing that's sealed right up. Show you guys. Totally sealed. I'm 100% legal to possess this and to use this at, for medical purposes and my issues without getting into any detail is chronic pain for back from uh, multiple uh, vehicle accidents and whatnot and uh, and being overweight I mean doesn't help by all means so I know like some someone's gonna make a comment on that in the comments like oh it's cuz you're fat you fuck right well yeah you know what yeah I am a fat fuck um, so get over it but yeah um, this is uh, the old bubble gum, eh? Let's have a look ski. See, I get off topic totally there, eh? I'm like, where did that come from? You know what I mean? The rant from hell there all of a sudden, like, Wah. Anyway, so yeah, um, I tried, I was doing test videos earlier. You can't really see a good bud, the view of the bud. Uh, um, I think this is about the best I can get you. Alright, see that? Show you the size compared to a lighter right here you know it's that's an actually that's one of the bigger buds so far I've gotten in in the five grams so let's see if the uh, if the weights on you watch me um, open it this is a continuous video no no tricks no no funny up the sleeve I got no sleeves so I didn't uh, slip a bud off the table or nothing it's at zero I'll show you that hopefully you can see that and I don't hook up my action here because like I said I'm just using a cheap little camera here guys uh, I am gonna improve as I go because I'm uh, I really like this YouTube thing man I wanna be a YouTube star five grams right on the nose boys look at that five grams right on the nose right on the old nose ski let me have a look so I can see if you guys can see what I'm seeing Oh, stand up. There you go. It's light. Light in the way. There you go. That's better. Was better for a second there. Anyway, you can take my word. It's five grams. Um, heard people complaining. Apparently, the rule is uh, they're allowed to. They're allowed. They're not allowed to be over on their weight. And I mean, this is third-hand information I'm getting here. This is not uh, by any means 100% proven fact. This is me hearing it from somebody else. And I mean, it sounds sounds legit to me. They they told me that their buddy. So it's like fourth-hand information actually. Their buddy. They they were getting their stuff through uh, Tweed, and uh, it was short, constantly short, right? So he phoned and he bitched. And they told them that by law, they're only allowed to be over by 1%, no more than 1%, and, but they can be under by up to 5%. But I mean 5% on a 5 gram order is a quarter gram. Okay, so I mean, you saw that. I've had a couple of my ones came up to 4.9. But I mean, the scale I'm using too is just, I mean, it's a sh cheap $20 variety store scale right I got it for weighing out protein powder and stuff originally um, but yeah it's uh, you know so I mean it might not be bang right on but I mean I did the old quarter test weigh a quarter it weighs five grams weigh a loony it weighs a gram or no loony weighs a quarter ounce gram a quarter weighs five grams yeah that's it I think so uh, yeah I did that I mean it seems to be calibrated but uh, yeah so yeah, we're gonna break this up. See the smell here. If I didn't do that, put it in the in this soda because my fingers sometimes my fingers smell like other weed. But I haven't smoked anything since I've showered and all that. I had to go uh, go to physio, so I medicated. Oh, that smells nice. I don't really sense the bubble gum, but. I'm I'm too, I'm not too good with smells. It's it's I like the taste. I like the taste, man. The taste. You know what I mean? Don't hesitate. Yet. So I'm gonna start with the vape because that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Damn it! Damn it! You know I'm so disorganized.
you know, you think, oh, buddy, you want to be a YouTube guy, you'd be a little more organized. Oh, this will work. This will work straight up, shit. You know. But that'll come. When I get my set, I'm going to have, uh, by then, I'll have bought some uh, rigs or bongs or shit. I'm going to have them, like, displayed. It's going to be like a whole little weed shrine. Oh, to the marijuana plant. Do you believe in the marijuana plant? Send me your money and I shall heal you through prescription and dedication. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that, but... See, just shit just pops into my head, you know what I mean? Like, who would have thought, you know what I mean? Who would have thunk I would have even come up with that? But, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping, you know, I, I'm, I like getting, I like throwing on the YouTube vids and getting high with some other person that I have no idea who they are, you know, and they tell me their stories, and, uh, like, Mudflap and I are unbelievably so much, uh, shit that we've done in our lives or how we are in common just from the little bits of things that we've re like he's revealed about himself I mean I've never met the guy I've only just watched vids and a couple comments and shit and uh, you know he seems cool as fuck man and I'm cool as fuck so hey what the fuck okay this uh, this is heating up this is the Olight this was my first vape I got I uh, I traded it I, got, I did it on barter system is how I got it um, $180 you figure it out what I traded oh you know what I think I ran out of fucking propane cocksucker okay so cancel that abort 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 we'll fill that up afterwards and we'll just roll a uh, we shall roll a spliff star alright so we got this is what we got going here, the bubble gum, leave that there so you can see hopefully the old bud ski on top. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh. Maybe get another bud. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Oh, I had it. I had it. I had it. Yeah. It's not working. Anyway, you know what I mean. Bubble gum. I don't want you to see the uh, prescription number and doctor name and all that. That's, you know, that's private shit, man. Private shit. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it was at Physio today. I got dinged by a, uh, a guy who did a rolling stop over across the street here in Pickering. I was on the way to the pub to watch uh, my buddy's band. And uh, I'd had a couple beers. I mean, and I'm straight up, I told the uh, it's nothing that I'm revealing here on YouTube that uh, I didn't tell uh, the insurance company and the doctors and blah 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 blah. Right? So don't think, oh fuck, right on. He revealed some shit. We can fucking rat him out now, right? Because I know there's haters. I fucking see the haters on other people's channel, and man, oh man, it's like I don't get it, man. Like just like the fucking pug one with the fucking fire dick, Robbie. Email Robbie fucking, you know, fucking dick. But yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I don't want to take, I've never met him, so, I don't really know, I'm just going on what Pug's saying too, so I shouldn't say that, I, I don't know the man, so, uh, but he seems like a dick, from what I've heard and seen so far, he seems like a dick, so, chances are, he's a dick, but, uh, yeah, what else? What else is going on? Oh, so yeah, so I got hit by uh, the guy. He ran this. I was on my bicycle. Uh, I had full right away riding on the road uh, next to the curb. Now I didn't did not have a bicycle helmet on, which my bad, right? But uh, I didn't hit my head, so that was all good. But I do now ride when I do ride, which is very rare, uh, with a helmet now. So it did, uh, I guess, solve one thing. But yeah, so uh, let's test this out here. I'll get back to that story in a second. This is more important. This is what you're here for now. See how I rolled that? I should have done. I'm going to do how to roll a perfect joint. Clyde, the dog likes to whine a lot because he likes cookies. Hold on. So, Clyde, you want a cookie? You want to see how excited he gets? Clyde, you want a cookie? You want a cookie? You want a cookie? Hey, that's Clyde. He's going to be famous. Yeah. Hey, Clyde, everyone's going to love you more than me. I know it. That's how it always is. All the girls, any girl I've ever had girlfriend, Clyde, like, loves them. And they totally love him. 
and uh, yeah then they don't like me so much anymore I don't know what it is he steals he cock blocks me he's a total cock blocker aren't you Clyde eh there he goes that'll stop him whining for about all oh, three seconds there's Harvey in there zoom in on Harvey eh there's Harvey he's old he likes his rest eh he's in there sleeping so yeah here we go so we'll uh, get back to her here I don't know how long we've got here uh, hmm Hopefully I didn't fuck this up by moving it and stuff. Can you see me again? Okay, guys. Oh. Okay. Medical marijuana. Take one. <laughs> it's definitely got a taste. Don't know about bubble gum, but hold on. I don't know if it's the plastic containers too. Like sometimes, like to me, these weeds kind of all taste the same, and I don't know if maybe it's because of the container that they're all in the same container, right? But or it's just in my head. I don't know. I'm like that though. I think that plastic containers and like these plastic water bottles and stuff if water sits in those for too long the plastic leaches into the bottle and into the water or like hence these plastic bottles into the bud it's a flower it's a herb it'll absorb what's around it right no am I right am I wrong comment let me know please comment mmm oh that tastes good you can hear Clyde. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. I'm chewing those cookies. But that was just, uh, I don't normally do that. Just award him for bad behavior because he's whining. But I wanted him to stop whining because I was taping, right? So he's probably going to figure that out and use that totally to his advantage. Because that's, he's pretty smart. Or I'm just paranoid. Probably a bit of both. Oh, here's another thing. I don't like the filter in the end. Yeah. 